One of the most important parts of using our service is posting. If you do not post your truck, your visibility on the load board is significantly decreased. And we have made it very easy to create a search from your posting so your time is not wasted. To post your truck, click on the Post Trucks button at the top of the page. If you've previously posted a truck, you can post another by clicking the green New Truck Posting button. But when your list is empty, the new post form will open automatically to save you time. First, start by typing the origin of your truck in the origin box. As you start typing, you'll see the drop down of possible matches. Choose one of these at any time by clicking on it. You can also enter zip codes to find your origin. Next, you can enter a destination into the posting. This is extremely important to show the brokers where you are willing to travel. This will reduce calls for you to go to undesirable locations. You can enter your destinations as a city, such as Chicago, Illinois, a state or states such as NJ and Y. And you can use zones to cover large regions, such as Z9 for the West Coast. When entering in states or zones, type them all in with no commas between them. A zone map can be found under the toolbox icon at the top of the page. The date your truck is available can be typed in using month and day, or you can use the calendar that opens when you click in the box. Here, you can click the specific date that your truck is available to haul a load. The date will always default to the current calendar day, so you can skip to the next field if that is right for you. Next, you can enter the type of equipment you have available to haul a load. Click the field under Truck and select the equipment from the drop-down menu. You can start typing in the name of the equipment type and it will start to narrow the list down for you. If you aren't sure which truck best matches the equipment you have, visit our Help Center by clicking the question mark icon at the upper right. Choose Help Center and look on the right for the link to FAQs General. Once the origin, destination, and equipment type are entered on the posting, DAT Power will display the broker spot rate, best try haul rate, and the estimated trip miles for the specified lane. Then you'll need to indicate whether it's a full or partial load by using the drop down under F slash P. After that, specify the length and weight. The length and weight should be the minimum capacity of the trailer needed to carry your load. Weights in DAT Power are in pounds not in thousands of pounds. If you enter a value of less than 1,000, you will be asked if you meant to use thousands of pounds. You can use the letter K as a shortcut for thousands when you do not have a precise weight. Next, you will need to select the best contact method using the drop-down menu. This defaults to your primary phone number. The reference ID is a number or code used to uniquely identify your truck. This number cannot be the same as any other reference number you have already used. This is a great tool to use when posting a large volume of trucks, and brokers will see the reference number when they see your posting. If you have any additional information that you feel is necessary regarding your equipment, you can enter them into the comments field. For example, you can enter in here if you have ramps, tarps, or chains for your equipment. There is a limit of 70 characters for each field. Want to be automatically notified of matching loads for your truck? Simply click the white bell if you'd like DAT Power to create a search with an audible alarm that will be added to your search loads tab once you submit the posting. When this option is selected, the bell will turn orange and show audible on. When finished completing the form, click on the blue post button. If any of the required fields are not filled out, or if they are not recognized by DAT, you will see an incorrect or missing field turn red. You can quickly resolve these issues and resubmit. Once your posting has been submitted correctly, it will appear as one of your trucks on the post truck screen. You will see a green posted button on the truck in the status column. 